In today's video, you're gonna find out if the alkaline diet works or if it's just complete BS. Let's go. Hi, I'm Alex, a sports dietitian, nutrition coach. Welcome again to one of my videos. Now, before we get into the alkaline diet, do remember to subscribe and ring that bell so you can stay in the loop with every video that I release. So the alkaline diet has become a lot more popular in recent years. Not hugely popular to the degree of like keto diets, but it's become more prominent, so to speak. That's probably a better way to say it. It's become more known, become more prominent, and there's more promotion of this diet. And it has now been touted as this miracle solution, this kind of optimal diet to help you reduce your disease risk and just improve your overall health. Well, as a dietitian, it's my job to tell you the truth and help you understand whether this diet even works so that you don't fall victim to another fad diet, as we tend to do. That is why today I'm going to simply review the alkaline diet from the perspective of a sports dietitian. So let me put on my dietitian thinking cap and get into it. I'm gonna answer once and for all. Does the alkaline diet even work? And is it backed by science? So first we're going to start with what is the alkaline diet? Let's explain what it is so that I'm not just talking to you and explaining all this stuff whether it works and you don't even understand what it perhaps exactly is. Essentially the premise behind the alkaline diet is that it can adjust the pH of your blood. Essentially the measure of acidity and alkaline entity in your body. According to the diet and those that support the diet, it said that a lot of foods that we eat create an acidic environment in our body that is conducive to disease and health risk. Whereas then the alkaline diet is considered protective against this. And hence, by eating more alkaline foods and minimizing the acidity forming foods, you're gonna help create a more alkalized environment, so alkalize yourself, as they say, and that this is gonna help improve your health. And to give you some context, acidity causing foods is proposed as things that tend to be very high in protein. We're talking about fish and, and meats and dairy and chicken, but also eggs, grains, and alcohol. On the other hand, the alkaline diet involves, you know, more fruits and vegetables, legumes, you know, such as pulses and, and you know, seeds and nuts as well, that sort of stuff. Essentially mineral rich plant-based foods, but it doesn't stop there. It has become a money grabbing scheme. You've got alkaline water. It's clean, it's cold. And that's what I call high quality tool. Oh! And you have alkaline supplements, of course. And alkaline, who knows what else. I'm sure there's something out there that's so random that they're gonna be like, this is alkaline promoting. Like, I'm sure there's gonna be something out there. But yeah, that's essentially the alkaline diet explained in a nutshell. It's essentially a diet to help alkalize you, to make you less acidic, so to speak, because apparently what we eat makes us acidic and that this is gonna help improve our health. And that as part of this, you have to be eating the right kind of foods while cutting out fully the other types of foods. And of course, in classic fashion, in classic, you know, fad diet fashion, you gotta take some supplements and different waters and stuff like that. Even water was not safe from this diet. Now to understand the alkaline diet and the premise behind it, we have to understand pH. To put simply, pH is a measure of how acidic or how alkaline something is. The diet is proposed to adjust the, the pH of your blood, hence improving your health in that way. However, you should note that your blood pH has to be regulated in a small range for you to actually live. Okay, literally for you to survive, your pH of your body has to be tightly regulated by your body. And our bodies are generally slightly alkaline at 7.36 to about 7.44. If you want to get very scientific and very specific, for that throw it out there. And then in saying that now, now that we understand the alkaline diet's premise, the fact that it kind of is supposed to change our pH of our blood, this brings us to our first stumbling block. And that is that food can only really affect our urine pH, not our blood pH. So already we have the first issue with this diet. The science that it's proposing actually doesn't make sense. So even if you could use food to adjust your blood pH, you wouldn't want to be doing it because to put it bluntly, that would be against what you need to do to survive. In fact, if you were noticing that your pH was too acidic, you'd have a lot more issues than the fact that you're eating apparently these acidic causing foods. You would be having issues that need to be medically managed. I can't put this any other way, but it is critical for your blood pH to be at a very specific level. And your body will do this for you. 
For this reason, the body actually has a lot of mechanisms in itself to regulate pH. And this is known as acid-base homeostasis. So yeah, all in all, food can affect your pH off your urine. It will not be able to affect the blood pH and any fluctuations in blood pH are very minor and they're very transient. There's not something you can do and there's nothing you should be doing either. Now, of course, if maybe your hobby is adjusting your urine pH, well, that's up to you. Go ahead and do what you want to do, okay? No judgment here. But I'm sure that's not something you want to do because honestly, it's just pointless. So now that we've addressed that elephant in the room, so to speak, now let's get on to two conditions, two health conditions that have been proposed to be influenced by the alkaline diet, aka that the alkaline diet helps manage these conditions. And we've got cancer and we've got osteoporosis. They're the two that we're going to address today. First, we'll get started with the whole cancer hypothesis regarding the alkaline diet. It is proposed that cancers can't grow in alkaline conditions, that it needs acidic conditions to grow. And that making our body alkalize itself by following such as an alkaline diet, that that's going to help avoid this or at least reduce the impact. However, the research does not support this. Not to mention the fact that it's been shown time and time again that cancer in fact can grow in alkaline environments because our body is slightly alkaline. As for osteoporosis, the mechanism behind why the alkaline diet helps is a bit different, but I'm going to explain it and address whether it's true or not true. Essentially, it says that by eating foods that are acid-causing, that your body is going to be in an acidic environment, so to speak, and that because of this, it's going to grab calcium from your bones to alkalize itself. And therefore, that this is going to impact bone health because less calcium in the bones, etc., etc. And in turn, this is proposed to be causing an increased risk of osteoporosis. However, I did mention before that the body regulates your pH very, very tightly, and this is done via the kidneys and the respiratory system primarily. Both of these regulate the acidity in your body very tightly, as I keep saying, because it needs to be said time and time again. AKA, if your body's blood was actually of an acidic pH, you'd have a lot more issues. Now, back to the whole link with the osteoporosis. Well, no clinical studies, like robust clinical studies, have shown any link between the normal kind of diet, like a city-causing diet that has been proposed, or consuming an alkaline diet with bone health. So yeah, no evidence supports the fact that you need to be consuming an alkaline diet to reduce osteoporosis risk. Interestingly, in fact, though, these high-protein diets, these more acidic environment diets that is kind of proposed by these promoters of this diet, are actually being shown to be potentially beneficial for bone health. So go figure. Already we can see that the science is not really backing this up, so... I'm, I'm sure you see where this is going. I'm sure you're seeing where the verdict is that I'm going to be giving in a second. Okay, so now with that said, let's get to the bottom line. Why you can argue that the alkaline diet can be healthy to some degree because it is promoting fruits and vegetables and it is promoting plant-based protein foods like legumes and it is promoting that you eat less, you know, the traditionally you know, unhealthy processed foods that we associate with being unhealthy. While it is promoting those, it is restricting a whole bunch of other stuff. Therefore, all in all, while the basis of it can be to some degree considered healthy, although I personally wouldn't, overall, the diet I would not consider nutritionally balanced, therefore unhealthy. Not to mention the fact that the science doesn't even back it up. So you'd be doing a diet thinking you're getting a result and that result is not even happening. It's kind of like futile. And while the diet has been proposed to help disease, again, the evidence does not support this. So you just want to be focusing more on a different approach that's not backed with a lack of science, but actually backed with good, robust evidence-based science that actually has been shown to be beneficial, aka a balanced diet with the right strategy and the right plan in place to get you results in the healthiest way possible. So you can get all the myriad of different nutrients that your body needs. And all in all, it must be said again, the alkaline diet does nothing to adjust your blood pH because you cannot change your blood pH for food, only urine, which you can go and do if you want, but it's pointless. Okay, so the verdict, the final verdict, well, drum roll please. The alkaline diet is BS, okay? It is bullshit. So there you go. Now you know the truth behind the alkaline diet, the fact that it's not backed by science and that while some components of the diet can be considered you know, beneficial for you because it's proposing, uh, proposing a good balance in the intake of certain types of foods, it is restricting others and therefore it is a nutritionally imbalanced diet that also has no scientific backing for it. Therefore, I would not be recommending an alkaline diet for anyone and any alkaline products out there are still also BS, so alkaline water and alkaline this and alkaline that. No, it's just a waste of money. It's just grabbing your money. It's a marketing scheme, so don't fall for it. Get another fad diet. Yeah, hope that answers it for you. Okay, so now what I want you to do is I want you to tell me in the comments. I want you to drop in the comments below and tell me what diet do you want me to review? 
Okay, what's a diet that you've been wondering about that's been a bit maybe iffy for you? It seems a bit wrong, but it's been proposed as being good. What's one that you want me to review? Let me know in the comments below. And before we wrap up, just want to say that if you do want a sports dietitian to help you, okay, if you want me to work with you one-on-one -on -one to help elevate your results, get more out of your nutrition, and really kind of optimize your whole situation so you can become a better fueled athlete, more high performance in life, and just become healthier. If you want me to personally help you, I do have a 90-day coaching program that's perfect for that. So if you feel you're a good fit, if you're an action taker ready to go, there is a link in the description below to apply so we can see if it's a good fit. Otherwise, if you are just wondering more about it or just want to chat to me personally first, you can send me an email at alexa at the dietitian .com.au. So send me an email and we can have a chat or apply directly and we'll chat that way. But yeah, look forward to reading your applications. So yeah, talk soon. As always, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Hit the like button if this video has been informative, if you now know something new about diets. Stay classy. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. See you later. Bye.